I mean, it was definitely nice only having to travel to Arizona and then uh, our high A team was in, in California and one of the teams is, is in Stockton, so I got to go home a bunch. Um, but it, it was nice. I learned a lot from the moment I stepped foot at Camelback Ranch and uh, I mean, I'm grateful for everything that they did. You've been seeing this Dodger blue across the field this week. Has that made you kind of reflect at all at how far you've come since you ultimately signed that contract? Yeah, it's definitely been different uh, not being on that side. Um, but I still have a few friends over there that I keep in contact pre with pretty regularly. Um, one of my, my, my very first pro ball roommate was Tony Gonsolin, and, and we've kind of hadn't been separated until I got traded. Um, so it was definitely weird. But now playing across from him, we look at each other in the opposite dugouts and make gestures toward each other the whole game. The two of you have both been dealing. I mean, you've had some pretty good careers to start so far. What, what is that relationship like? Uh, it's fun. I mean, he he's he's so much fun to watch. I mean, it doesn't matter how many base runners get on. They just never score. Um, and he, he does a good job controlling controlling the game. Um, but we, we, we just have fun, you know. Did you give him any grief that he started ahead so he won't be in this series? Yeah, I was I was hoping I was hoping we'd start against each other. That way we can do the, the Joe Musgrove uh, tic tac toe on the on the back of the mound. Uh, but it didn't end up working out that way. He's also got flow, so have we exchanged some hair tips here too? He has my he has much different hair. <laughs> Definitely different textured hair, uh, and a little bit less volume. So um, he's he's tried my routine, didn't go all that well for him. Um, but <laughs> Yeah, we talk about it every now and again. So you're superior on that front is what I'm hearing here. Now, again, when you when you look over there, uh, do you ever think about what it would have been like had you stayed in that system? Yeah, definitely uh, interested because him and, and Dustin and, and Will and uh, uh, Gavin Lux, I mean, all kind of came up together in like 2019 um, and then kind of stayed up um, since. So I, I wonder if, if I would have stuck around in that in that kind of group if, if I would have made it with them or, or if not or wherever I'd be. It's definitely definitely a thought that's crossed the mind. Have you gotten to greet them in person on the field so far? Yeah, I, I talked with Tony a good bit and, and uh, one of their assistant pitching coaches, uh, Connor McGinnis, still a really good friend. He was our, he was our pitching coach in high A in, in 18, and uh, I got to talk to him a, a lot. And uh, Caleb Ferguson I know pretty well, Will Smith, you know, um, so a lot of familiar faces that I get to see. And then Evan, of course, Phillips. Um, I mean, a good group, of, good group of guys. What would it mean to you if these two teams were that classic postseason matchup? I mean, it'd be pretty cool. Uh, I, for, for me, at least, it'd be pretty cool.